This is the first time I have gotten dressed and gotten ready for the day since having COVID. It feels good. I washed my hair for the first time in 70 years. Um, I got dressed, I put on makeup today. I'm actually feeling so fresh. Um, so this video is going to be all my knits of 2022. And I did this last year. And looking at my pile, it looks like I did much less, I think. But it also seems more intricate to me and also more like stuff that I want to make instead of like following trends and stuff. So I feel like this was my, my, ow, ow, I'm getting a cramp in my foot. Today is not my day actually. As I was saying, <laughs> this is the year where I figure out what I actually liked in it. And then hopefully next year, I'll actually be very intentional with my knitting. So, um, since my foot is cramping right now, we're gonna start with things that I don't have with me right now because they were gifts or I left them somewhere. I couldn't find them. So, number one, we have the first project of this year, which was the Essentials Handbag, which is a pattern that I made at the beginning of the year. I had testers and everything. Oh, so much better. So, Essentials Handbag. This was just kind of me trying out something new, trying out pattern writing. At the beginning of the year, um, it looks like this. I gifted that to my friend for her birthday last year. Um, I don't know, it was, it was fun and it was kind of... One of the first times I was like exploring with making something myself and it actually worked, which was amazing. And I really like the yarn I used for it. Um, I haven't made another one. I think it kind of revealed to me that right now pattern making is not, not my thing. It's not really exciting for me right now, I just like, I feel like I'm still learning how to follow patterns and how to, I'm still learning how to knit, basically. Like I'm not really good at it yet. I do lots of simple things. Um, but I like this project. Next thing that I don't have with me is my frozen lake cardigan. I love this. This is one of my favorite pieces. Here's a picture. I used Drops Air in Wheat. It was like my first project with really nice yarn. Well, Drops, I don't know if you count that as really nice, but it's better than acrylic. Um, and it was really fun to make and I was so excited about it. Um, some of the increases were weird. Um, I didn't know how to do anything yet. Um, <laughs> But it was a fun project. I think it came out really well and I got to try out making a button band and it was just very nice. I like that project. Next we have, oh, I made a hat for my friend in there. I don't have any pictures of that, I don't think, but. And then everything else I think I have. Um, of course the, mit the mittens I t I've been talking about forever that I made for my sister. They're finally done and I could go get them but they're I don't want to touch them and bring them into my room because I still have COVID so I just like want to let that blow over. Um, check out my last video if you want to see those. So let's get into the actual stuff that I have with me. I have, we'll start from like present back to the beginning of the year is how I'm going to do this. So I just finished this cowl for my friend that I don't know when I'll see, but this is for her. I'll try it on and show you how it fits. Here it is. It's very cozy and I feel so cute in it and I hope she likes it because um, this was originally going to be a tank top. And as I explained in I think the last video, um, I lost patience with the tank top, um, so I decided to turn it into something I was excited about. 
and I wanted to do something with like chunky needles and I had this bling bling mohair left so I was like I'll just I'll just put it all together and make a cute little cozy cowl. <laughs> My hair is gonna get so messed up because of this video. It's fine. Next we have the anchor summer shirt which I made with wool that I got at the thrift store in Canmore. Um, I really like this pattern. It was easy to follow and I think it just looks really cute. Um, the only thing is that since this is 100% wool, it's really itchy. So I haven't really worn it since I made it. Which makes me sad because it's so beautiful, but like, I have such long days at school that if I'm wearing this all day and it starts to bother me, I'm just gonna like, start ripping up my hair. So, I just don't know. But let's try it on. Honestly, right now it feels pretty warm and like, not really irritating. But I know that like, after a day at school, this would be like, probably really irritating. But here it is. Here she is. I really like it. It looks like the style is just so nice. I should actually start wearing this, but I don't know. It just makes me nervous that I'll get irritated because it is kind of high up. Um, oh, but the fit is like actually perfect. I'm really happy with this. Next we have my little market bag. Um, I made this with a video I found online and I did the stitch wrong. Like it's supposed to have alternated rows but instead I just kept going which gives a cool look and I still like it but like it was supposed to have more of a crisscross look. I made a mistake in the row which I covered up with crochet um, but I think it just made it look kind of cute. And it originally had two handles for the bag, but um, I didn't like how that knit up, so I just made it like a drawstring bag. And I don't use it very much, but it's very cute, so I don't even care. This was with like leftover acrylic yarn, so I was just like, I want to get rid of some of the stuff in my stash. Next we have the Prairie Rose top by Drops Design. I made this over the summer with yarn that I got from some of my friends. I really like the pattern because it was easy to follow and it just ended up looking really nice, but I didn't anticipate the yarn stretching so much because I thought the rib would cinch in, but it just kind of didn't. So the result is that it's kind of like baggy. So that's why I don't wear it very much. Since this shirt is kind of baggy too, like it works. So maybe if I wear it with this shirt more. But I really like the yarn. It's cute. A cute color. And yeah, I don't know if there's any way to like make it less baggy at the bottom. If you have a solution, let me know. This next one is another favorite. This was a vest I improvised, and I used um, Morocco Mochi yarn. Uh, it was whatever the blue one is called. I don't remember, it was like ice or something. Um, I really like this. I love how the fabric um, looks, and I like the color and the speckles. I just, I'm in love. Um, the fabric is really soft. I would recommend using this yarn. Yeah, it's just cute and cozy. I should wear it more often. 10 out of 10. Like, I actually don't have any, like, mistakes with this knit. And that's rare for me because I am something of an impatient girl when it comes to knitting. So, I don't know. I don't know. Next one. I'm gonna go crazy and say this is my favorite knit of this year. It is another improvised sweater. I'm seeing a theme. I improvised a lot of knits this year and it actually worked out for me. Um, I love, I love her. I wear this one so often. I'd say it's my most worn knit. And I used Wool Ease, like Michael's yarn, which is mostly acrylic and partially wool. But it has a really nice feel and it's really warm. It's just so cozy. 
Oh my god. This is, yeah, this is my favorite one. This is my favorite knit this year. Also, my bangs are starting to look crazy. Oh, here it is. I don't know what to do with my arms. I just love it. And I love the design. And with this one, I did make a mistake at one of the one of the color work, like diamonds, but I could fix it easily after, just like um, duplicate stitch. Is that what it's called? I don't remember. Over it. Yeah, and it worked out. Yeah, my hair is just never going to recover. Um, all right, next up we have another improvised vest using drop snow. Um, this one. I was scared that I didn't have enough yarn, so I was um, kind of conserving a lot, but I only ended up using half of it, and it's actually not a fit I really like, which is why I don't wear it very often. With this knit, I figured out how to do the line necks. Um, it actually doesn't look bad with this shirt that I'm wearing. This is a new shirt, so maybe I'll wear it more if it's with this. Um, I'm getting, I'm boiling putting on all this knitwear. Um, it's cute. It just makes me feel like, kind of stiff, you know? This is what it looks like on. It actually doesn't look bad. It doesn't look awkward. But it feels just kind of, I think the armholes are too small is my problem. The overarching theme this year is that I make everything too small. Everything improvised is going to be too small, and I will never learn, ever. I'm convinced. Next we have this small cowl I made at the beginning of the year using leftover Mary wool. Um, it's really soft, it's in half fisherman's rib, um, and it was satisfying to knit up. Um, I don't know, there's not much to say with this one, it's just kind of cute. I don't want to put it on because my hair has gone through enough. Um, second to last, we have ooh, vest number seven, just kind of a cropped version. Um, this one I don't wear very much just because the buttons are a little weird. Uh, I don't know, it's like, it's nice, but it just doesn't look right. Like, I don't know what's, what it is about the fit that makes it look kind of off to me. But I'll put it on. Yeah. So I think the button band, or sorry, the buttonholes are a bit too loose. So it feels like it's about to come off. Or, yeah, it actually does come off. So I maybe just need to like, sew them to make them a bit smaller. I should do that because otherwise it it looks pretty good. Yeah, that's cute. Maybe I'll sew the buttonholes tighter and then ask if my sister wants it because I think the style just like isn't for me. That's also something I've learned this year is that you don't always get a finished piece that you were imagining and that's fine because sometimes it just doesn't turn out right um yeah but i'll fix the buttons on that Let's see if my sister wants it. and then the last thing which was the first or second thing i made this year um we have the bacalieu mittens from the saltwater knitting pattern book um i really love these these are my go-to mittens even though they're not perfect, one of them is bigger than the other because that's just how the tension worked out. But they're really cute and I don't know. I just love them. So yeah. And I'm proud of myself. Like I hadn't made anything with color work at the beginning of the year. And I just kind of jumped into it, jumped into the pattern, and I did it right on my first try but you can see that this one is smaller than this one. But they just, I just love them. Yeah, they're not perfect, but like, I love them. None of my knitting is perfect, which is to be expected. And also, kind of something I've come to expect. I like, 
I feel like that's just a part of knitting for me and I know some people like need to go back and fix everything but I just I still like it even if there are little mistakes or yeah the imperfections are part of handmade things to me so maybe I shouldn't sell them because apparently I'm not, I don't have the best quality but I have fun and that's what matters to me so maybe I'll just quickly show like the whips that are still in progress right now because I have a few. Um, we have sweater number nine. This has been at this stage of the making forever. I'll finish it this year at some point because I am excited to wear it. I'm scared I don't have enough yarn, but we'll have to see. I actually, no I don't, but I don't even want to face that right now, so that's one. And then we have an improvised sweater, which I've shown a million times. I feel like the armholes are once again too small. No, they're not. It'll be fine. What am I worried about? Um, it's cute. I'm hoping to finish this sometime soon, but we know it's not gonna happen. And then lastly, I'm working on the Sophie Scarf by Petite Knit. I just have a little bit of it made. Um, this is using some yarn I got in Halifax and I'm holding it two strands to make it thick enough and it's going well. I strongly recommend this pattern, it's really cute. So that is everything. Um, thank you for watching. I hope you feel inspired for this next year of knitting and creating. And, because I certainly am. I have so many plans. Um, I'm gonna get my yarn for my mood blanket today and make a little like legend for that, which I'm very excited about. Okay, a uh, quick break from whatever I'm doing right now because the yarn for my mood blanket is here. Um, so let me see if I remember what colors I'm using for which mood. So of course we have a classic yellow for happy. The lighting is weird because it's like blue from the snow, winter lighting. This is in the color butter. Yeah. Um, so this is for happy. It's very cute. Um, I bought six, I think. Um, this is light coral, which I think is for excited which I really like. And then we have um, Spa for relaxed. Mm, it looks more green in real life. You can't really see it right now. I'll try and show it better in a sec. And then we have um, Clay. Oh, Ginger for um, frustrated or angry. Um, Beast is for sad or lonely. And then Aqua is for anxious. Um, these two look almost the same, but they're different in real life. Let me just show them. And yeah, happy knitting for 2023, happy new year, merry Christmas, happy holidays, everything. See you guys next time.